next we're going to work on the materials for the ice to do that we want to firstly go into the hierarchy of the model we firstly select the eyebrows and eyelash objects to then assign the hair material to it so they can be less distracting then we also want to make sure this left and right here objects to cast the shadow options off same same thing for the other side turn it off then going to the eye transform group and this should be another cornea mesh we want to make sure the cast shadow is off as well to the other side same thing cornea mid turn the cast shadow off okay now that is taken care of we can start creating the actual materials and for the tears in the cornea material is actually pretty simple so we just can just do right click create materials and omni surface presets then we pick the omni surface clear water we rename it to c underscore tier shader for the tier objects then we select that again the only thing we will need to change is that scroll down go to the geometry section we we'll check the thing what option and then we can just select those two tier objects and assign the new material we just created okay similarly we just right click again create materials omni surface presets and omni surface clear water again rename it to c onia shader and pick this two objects assign the material and yet that should be it for these two materials and then we can now move on to the next step let's work on a coroy material next and to do that first of all we want to hide the skin object also this eyebrow and eyelash objects so we can focus on the choroid and let's re-enable the material graph and we can just create a new material and name it to C choroid graph and select that again to import material from selection similar to before we search base here and we drag this surface base material into the graph then we connect this outputs and yeah then we go to the hierarchy which is gonna be this choroid mid and the right side as well then we sign the choreograph and now we can start getting the textures so first of all we just search far here load it in and we want to load the eye textures we prepared we go to source images, eyes. We want to use the diffuse for this one. And also, we want to just make the texture a little bit yellowish than what it was. So, what we can do is basically search mold, multiply color. First, color goes into eye texture here the second color will actually be something just less blue so we can set to something like 0 0.8 0 0.8 and 0 0.64 now we can connect this into the color also the subsurface color 
of the eye material now, the coral material. Also, don't forget to actually enable subsurface. And for now, we just want to set the weight to 1. We will sign texture later, but for now, 1 is okay. And next up, we want to move on to actually, God, we need to set the scale of that material to much less than 1. The same depth applies here. We can set it to 0 0.1 for now, meaning it's 1 centimeter depth. And we also want to change this color to something like, uh, just type the number here. Um, 0.75, 0.35, 0.8, and so basically something orangish. And yeah, so far so good. So next up, we want to work on the specular part of it. Then we go here and reload another texture. In my texture this time we want to low the C mask first which is just a black and white mask then we create another texture in this case we want to go with the spec this one and we actually want to multiply these two together so we need a Molt, load, which is basically multiply the red channel of the first image and red channel of the second image. So we will get something like this, similar to this texture, but in the center it just gets cut off by this mask. And then we connect this into the specular weight of the material. And yeah. Let's move on. Next one, we're going to move on to the roughness. So we know that another texture. Search the file here. Again. And we load the roughness texture. And actually, what we want to to be less rough than this because this right now you can see the value is really big and so we just do molt float put into the first value as a red channel second one 0.2 meaning less much less brighter and set this value to the roughness of the specular and also one thing i want to mention is that it depends on your need because eyes sometimes are really reflected and uh, so usually 1.5 is good enough but based on maybe based on your shot or based on your character the higher number is required and in this case i want to set it to five or now and see how it goes and yeah let's keep going I actually also want to set the subsurface weight like I said currently it, we set it to 1 and we do want to load a texture which is the let's search file here again the map texture node we set it to should be a subsurface this one and do another multiply float because we want less weight for the subsurface scattering in this case so just do 0.35 then set it to the weight 
And yeah. I think this one more thing is we just want to add a tiny, tiny bit of shin. So, create another file note. We made texture. And we want to actually select the speed plus texture, something like this. And we just want a tiny bit of shin around this iris area. So we can just do a multiply it again. Multiply float. Make the red channel to here. Multiply by 0.1, meaning it's not that much. Then we connect this to the shin weight. And just make sure that the shim here has a little bit of roughness as well. And yeah, point three looks good. Yeah, that should be pretty good for the choroid material. Then we will jump to the coroncle material next. Now let's move on to the car and chrome material. And first of all, right click here, click all, and create a new material again. And rename it to C, our own cool graph. And click the material, import material from selection. In process search base here. And we drag the surface base here into the graph now we'll connect this outputs and keep going and yeah then we can go to the hierarchy just like this two car and cool objects actually just two objects and set the material to car and cool graph and we don't really have any textures for the coroncle, so we can just create a constant color for the base color and the subsurface color here. So we can search const here, we can drag the const color into the graph and set some value to something like 0.37, 0.14. 11, something like this dark red and uh, set it to the base color we also want to set it to the subsurface color and after that we want to also enable the uh, subsurface weight by go to the shader and enable it and set the weight to something at point 0.5 we change this to something like orangish color 0.9 3 point one, and you know change the scale to point 0.1 and also I actually want to have a lot of coat because I power and coal is the tear duct so you want it to be a little bit wet point five here and roughness to be point two and yeah also because we don't really have texture or normal map uh, but we still want to break up the specular a little bit on a map so what we can do is actually go back to the search bar here do bump and we can just do a burning noise bump texture and we just connect it to the normal section of the coat also we will have to you know because the car and co mesh is really tiny so we want to Crank up the noise a little bit more, like level five. 
and tilings like 3.3.3 something like that and that, that should be pretty much it all on core material 